Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Mrs. Hallberg at Second Baptist Church, and I am so glad that you've joined us for our virtual Sunday school this morning. We are in the season of Advent. We are waiting for Jesus to be born, and we are lighting our, our fourth candle today, which is the purple one, if you can see behind me, and it, is, it represents peace. Peace in the world. Jesus came to let everyone have peace, calm, follow God's way. Also, peace in your heart because you're loving Jesus and you're content that with his love you can do anything. So that's the Advent, the fourth Sunday before Jesus is born. You're probably also looking in your Advent calendars and your Advent books and you're pulling your paper chains. You are also working on those for the season of Advent. Well, let's get our heart and our minds ready. Let's look in our Bible book. And our story is coming from Luke again. This is the best chapter to talk about for um, the birth of Jesus. So we're in Luke 2 and we're in verses 8 through 20. And we're learning about the shepherds visiting today. And our Bible verse is going to be one of our favorites. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall have everlasting life. And that's John 3, 16. So if you want to look in your Bible, then you can read it now or read it a little bit later. I wanted you to look in my Advent book that I have here. And we last week we're talking about baby Jesus being born. And he was in the, um, the stable being born. And these are our Advent flaps. This is a couple of the numbers. And so today, when we're talking about the shepherds, I'm going to show you in the Advent book, about the shepherds here they are and this is what we're talking about today they're traveling this is the heavenly host look at all those sheep on the ground there's the angel so each day you're opening a different flock and it's telling you the story I really like this book too because this book is called the real night before Christmas you might know a story of the night before Christmas about um, Santa Claus and this one is is about the shepherds so shepherds, their job is to take care of the sheep. They need to feed them, give them water, keep them safe from the wolves, or other types of animals that they might have. And they notice that something is out in the sky and something is getting brighter. And they don't know exactly what it is, but they're thinking maybe it's the Messiah that we have heard about. Maybe the baby is coming soon. They knew that John had been born and they knew that after John, after Elizabeth had John, then Mary was going to have Jesus. Now here's an angel that God sends down. And the angel is telling them, oh, don't be afraid. I'm here with some really good news. The baby Jesus has been born. This is God's son. And he is king of the kings, lord of the lords. And he is here to save us. The shepherds were very surprised. Plus, they're not really very important, if they feel like. So they didn't know why the angels were coming to visit them. Well, here they see with the heavenly host. The heavenly host is coming down. They are singing and they are praising God because baby Jesus has been born. So here you can see the heavenly host. They are singing and they are praising God. Now the angel tells them that they want the shepherds to go and visit the baby Jesus. So they get ready to go, they take their sheep with them, they got their staffs, and they're headed to the town of Bethlehem, and they want to find where baby Jesus is. They've heard from the angel that he's wrapped in swaddling cloths, and he's lying in a manger. So they finally found Mary and Joseph and the baby in the manger. Remember, a manger is like a trough, like where the animals eat their food, but it was clean hay, and it would be warm for the baby. There are the animals that we talked about last week. Do you remember Pockets was jealous? Well, there they all are, and they are the shepherds. And this is Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. Now, the word spread very fast about Jesus being born. So that was a very exciting time. Here's another artist idea about the shepherds. When the light came down for the angel, and here's a special angel that's coming down to tell them not to be afraid. And then we have a picture of what the shepherds may have looked like. They probably would have prayed to God and thanked God. And they probably would also have given them a gift of some sheep. 
Here's the baby. I love this one where you can see the swaddling clothes and then you can see the rain jug. So I like that one too. And it was dark because you know they had traveled a long way, which was very nice. Now, if you're making your art this week, you might want to make a craft with a shepherd. It's a toilet paper roll, and this is a pipe cleaner. You can use clothes, um, any type of cloth, felt, or you can use paper. And I use some of the little lamb stickers on mine too. You can make a whole lot of the little shepherds, or you can just do one. But that's kind of special. Now let's see, Pockets looks like he's very dressed up today. Hi Pockets! Happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday! So you're really celebrating Jesus' birth with his birthday party? Yes I am! Oh my goodness. Well we have got streamers everywhere, Pockets. They are totally wrapped around you today. Yes, happy birthday! And you got it on your hat and your and your little blow thing? Yeah, you wanna blow it? Okay. Happy birthday. Well, that's very nice. You're celebrating. Yeah, but there's a problem. Oh, man. How could you always have a problem? What's your problem? I don't have a gift. I don't know what to give. Oh, I see. Well, you know what? Jesus loves you, and if you're spreading the word about him, that's your gift to him. Really? Well, I can do that. I can talk all the time about Jesus. <laughs> That's right. When you're spreading the word about Jesus being born and some people that don't know about God's son. Okay. That's a gift. Yeah, that's a gift. It's special, huh? Yes, it is. Now, I have another box today that has some special gifts. Would you like to stay and watch? Yes, I would. Okay. Let's, I'm going to put you down right here because you have so many things on today. And let's look at these boxes over here. Now, this is called what God wants for Christmas. Can you imagine what God wants for Christmas? Let's look inside and see. And each one is a gift, and each little box is a gift that's here. And our first box, when we open up our first box, it's going to be an angel. So this is our first box. We're gonna build our nativity scene with our boxes because they're gonna end up with what God wants for Christmas. So there's the angel is the first one. Then I'm gonna open my box and here's Mary. Okay, and I bet you can guess who comes next. Joseph, you got it, you're so smart. And then who was born last week at Sunday school when we were talking? Baby Jesus, perfect. And what else do we study about? We study about the shepherds this week. Here's the shepherds that are coming. And then next week, we're gonna be talking about the wise men. So this is in our box number six. This is our wise men, and they'll be coming next week to visit. Now, there's one more box that's here, boys and girls. One more present. Now, the question is, what does God want for Christmas? Okay, so I'm gonna open it up. Do you think something's gonna fall out? look inside it's a mirror and you know what I'll look inside oh, it's me that means that what God wants for Christmas is you he wants you to believe in him he wants you to love him he wants you to worship him that's what God wants for Christmas he just wants you so just like Popkins was asking what gift he could give to Jesus because it's his birthday and I said just telling others about Jesus is what he wants for his gift and what God wants, right here, just you. Isn't that special? I thought it was kind of different. Now, let's keep building our tower and then we have to go. But we've been working on our building our story every week during the Christmas season. We're talking about gifts today, what God wants, and what Jesus wants. And then we're adding today the angel, the shepherd, the sheep, and another shepherd. And then we're adding the shepherds came to see Jesus. This is going up on our tower. Well, we're really building our Bible story about Christmas, aren't we? Okay, well, it's almost time to go. Let's do a run really quick. What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would give him a lamb. If I was a wise man, I would do my part. Yet, what can I give him? I'll give him my heart. 
And Bree made this for us for our heart to represent that you'll give your love to God. And that's what he wants. So he doesn't need any other special gifts, just you and just your special love. Well, boys and girls, it is time for us to go. And I love being with you. And I hope that you have a merry, merry Christmas. And I hope that you'll come back and hear about the wise men next week. That would be wonderful. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for sending your son, Jesus. We want to remember to celebrate his birth. We want to worship you. And we know that you give us many different gifts, God. So we want to make sure that our gift to you is loving you, worshiping you, praying to you, and spreading the good word about Jesus. Merry Christmas. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, I love you. Say your blessings. Say your prayers. See you next week.